Whoa! Uh, let me turn this down. It's a little bit spicy. <laughs> hey Val, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So, uh... We're gonna play later Alligator today. It is a game by, uh... Small View Animation Studios and Pillow Fight. Uh, Lindsay Small and Alex Butera are uh, animators um, best known for uh, a thing called Batman Piter Man, uh, which I have not watched in a long time, but it was always very entertaining when I did. Uh, they've done all kinds of other little things over the years. Uh, and then recently they made a game, Later Alligator, in which you gotta say Pat. I do not know very much about this game other than we need to save Pat, so we're gonna save Pat. That's all there is to it. Bought this game a week ago and I'm excited to see it. Cool. I am excited also. Um, trying to think. Oh, yeah, I was gonna. Um, so this is a uh, physical version available from Fangamer. Uh, you can also download it from the Nintendo eShop. Uh, the uh, physical version comes with a coupon for one free tomato soup, which is very nice. <laughs> it's actually a c promo code for uh, later alligator merch. I don't think you actually get a free tomato soup, but maybe. Could be wrong. Uh, and then it also comes with this fun little uh, newspaper insert, which I thought we'd read a bit of. Uh, I found that uh, they do have a Twitch account, but I don't know if they actually stream. Mm. They, may, they may have streamed when the game first came out, but they don't have any like videos saved or anything like uh -huh. that. But I'm just going to drop the link in the chat if yeah, you wanted to go for it. give them a follow. So this is a little insert it comes with. The Alligator Chronicle Times. Uh, got lots of headlines like, Mayor Wibblyfin promises to open decrepit 9th Street Station. Uh, Mayor Wibley Finn looks um, a little bit harried. <laughs> not sure, not sure what kind of emotion he's going through there. He's sweating an awful lot. Business mogul Gaetano Valentino dies, leaving enormous fortune to his ill-behaved children and disconcerting wife. Oh my goodness! Crocodile Cincinnati Chompers win World Series. Congratulations to them. Baby dressed as B delights all. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little cut off at the bottom here, there's a headline that says, I am one who can kill any guys you need. Call me for... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hey, Silver, good to see you. I'm excited to play this for the first time. Uh, and then there's this, this bit I wanted to read out loud, which is alligator game directions, surprisingly easy to follow. In news expected to bring a wash of relief to consumers of alligator products, it was announced this week this tr that strange game video game Later Alligator had instructions that were easy to follow. When questioned outside the trash bin they reside in, developers reportedly remarked it was best to have fun and suggested highly that you have a good time playing and possibly even enjoy yourself. The general public's reaction to the announcement was swift. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff around to click on, if I'm being real here, <laughs> said Gloria Snoodleboot, a local standing outside the grocery store eating raw eggs in a bag from a different grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can talk to NPCs again even when you come back from places, or poke objects around the screen to make them do stuff. Touch stuff a lot. Touch your mother's cheek with one finger when she comes in to check on those strange noises I make when I play video games. <laughs> Further investigations conclude that on the only objective you should worry about is to save Pat, since it would appear he is not long for this world and needs you big time. <laughs> Continued page 54. Unfortunately, page 54 is missing from my edition of the uh, Alligator Chronicle Times. I also noticed uh, while you were getting ready to start that the marquee on the screen says, This week, look around with up and down. <laughs> Very helpful. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Speaking of the screen, which you can't see at the moment, because I didn't set things up this way, this is my this is my first time streaming a game that's not uh, Phantasmagoria, so I had to set up new scenes and everything. Uh, but I'm gonna.
quick reboot the game here. That was a short ways into the game. I thought made a good uh, starting soon. I'm going to have a little bit trouble uh, mixing up. Uh, I'm going to be pressing B a lot when mm -hmm. I want to press confirm, which is A, mm -hmm. because I play too many PlayStation games. So let's get into it, huh? Turn it up a little for this bit. Okay. Oh shoot. What's wrong? Ah. Uh, I was worried this might happen, but I thought, nah, it'll be fine. They'll let me start over. Uh, okay. Reset. Yes, I'm so sure. Exactly what I want. You get. <laughs> We're all good. I just tried to click. I just tried to click on the screen and OBS to play the game. That's not how this works. Nope. <laughs> I'm I'm playing on the Switch with the controller. Everything's going great here. No company, please. Thank you. Uh, um, no hablo inglés. No hablo español. No hablo at all. Not even one hablo. Come on. Hey, I'm trying to lay low here, so can you maybe move on, please? Okay. Okay! You got me. I'll come clean! I'm sorry for being so rude before. I'm just a little on edge. Normally I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes I can totally see the entirety of, so I feel safe with you, stranger. You see, usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool, eating two bagels at the Continental Breakfast, eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. But this year, I've got a problem. A real big problem. A real, real big uh-oh problem. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out for squealing. I didn't mean to squeal, honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and the secrets just start flowing out my snoot. See, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Oh, Jesus crackers. What am I going to do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Two Ton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at 8 Sharp for the event. I think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family is going to come to really show me how it's done. What am I going to do? I don't want to sleep with the fishes. I have a shellfish allergy. And my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a sec. You're interested in me, right? You want to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you think you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator New York City. Find out information about the event and report back to me. Yes, this is a great idea. Together we can collect enough info to s save me. You want to save me, right? Right? Great. I'll text you if you need any if I need any help or if you need help. If anybody needs help. <laughs> How about you go out there and start? Do you have a watch? It seems I do. 
Great. I'll text a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. Okay? So make sure you check your watch bunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird gang-like activities while investigating, it could take time. Time I don't have! Because I'm going to have a murder die on me! <sighs> I'm okay. Think of the beach, Pat. Remember what Dr. Duplesner <laughs> told you. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel better just looking at your super kind invisible face. And be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. Oh, am I gonna get a murder, murder done to me? I mean, I feel like associating with a person who is at risk of murder oh boy. does come with an associated risk of murder to yourself. I hadn't considered this. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was looking at the chat. We need to find a double bed in this economy? See you later, friends. Stay safe. I'm worried about you, Pat. Bub. Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up there in the corner of the screen. Aha. We provide all our patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillow mints. Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment to exit and munch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up since that arrow is vintage and known to contain harmful materials such as lead paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poisons and cilantro. Please feel free to visit us again here at John Johnny's and have a Johnny of a day. <coughs> Thanks, bub. Uh, let's check the time. If I can. Our chronodial watch says it's eight. I assume that's 8 a.m.? Probably. Yeah, because he was talking about eating breakfast. So we've got two hours. Hmm. We have some interesting items in here. Lots of gloves. A pair of shoes. Two tins of mints. A knife? At least we're well prepared. Uh... So I don't know how uh, this game indicates an object you can interact with. Have you tried clicking on random things? That's a good question. I'm, I'm doing it now okay. and nothing is happening. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm guessing they'll be like animated in some way. I noticed that when you hovered over the exit arrow that yeah. the glove turned into a pointy finger. Right. So I guess that's the way you know. Sure. I'm just wondering, like, you know, if I could interact with these teacups, for example, right. w would there be something to indicate that, or do I need to mouse over everything? We might be Agent 47. I feel like we don't, don't have... Know. I don't know that we have enough information uh, to make that call definitively, but I feel like it's a possibility. Are we going to do a murder? I don't know, man. We got a knife. This week, look around with up and down. Uh, D-pad. Bell says the briefcase, the knife, the soulful eyes, it all tracks. <laughs> You're not wrong. I like how this this is an awning over here, but it, it sure looks like an alligator mouth. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, uh... See what's going on over here. Slick Mickey. Hey, bub, you got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? Ain't above asking for five. I saw you walking out of John Johnny's over there, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. A vision in pinstripes, they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of exceptional taste, as well as one who might like to dabble in high stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. No, I don't. No, don't actually feel me. I've got a skin condition. <laughs> they call me slick for a reason, and according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. We ain't gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate, you know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street, which is also where I got the skin condition, and my impolite lower back tattoo. 
Okay, interesting. Uh, whom? The name's Mickey, but everyone calls me the old king of the cards. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence to stop stealing his email passwords. <laughs> then his pants fell down. Then he fell down into an open manhole. But I have it on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five other people after the people up that, so bada bing. The old card king at your service. Oh! Uh, let's ask about Pat. You talking about Pat the Alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. One time when we was kids, us guys got locked out of CCD after recess and missed juice and cookie time. That's rough. We only had one granola bar between us and good old Pat gave me the bigger half. Aww. I'll always remember that. No! I ain't crying! I just spit in my own eyes as a display of my street toughness. <laughs> okay, let's see if Mickey knows about the event. Oh, you know about the event, eh? Well, looky here, bub. It's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed, just like they're sealed when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. <laughs> Next. Maybe, though. Just maybe. If you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips light m might loosen up. You think you can keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find the queen? Stay in your guard, keep an eye on the cards. Three card Mickey. Ah, uh, I... It seems I'll play is my only option here, so I guess I'll play. Mickey's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. Okay. It's just like we're playing Persona. Alright, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. In the middle. Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? <laughs> Heck! This is maybe not a very good scam. I guess we'll never know who won. Who's known which way the wind blows or some junk? Er <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Anyways, about the event. Well, you ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's going to be a real affair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. That's really going to get his, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out here, out there, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. Those dermatology copays are a real kick in the alligator pants, you feel me? Oh! Oh. I was worried this might be an issue. What? Uh, I'm, I'm covering the text box. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll wait and see how often this comes up. And we'll try to keep an eye out whether it... Whether the top right corner is safe? I feel like it's been safe so far. <laughs> Anyways, the trolley ain't here yet, so why don't you go check out the arcade? Mickey got banned for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis <laughs> epidemic. But that ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate. Oh! The arcade's right here. Yep. Oh, good phone call. Unknown. Oh, text. Um, hello. Kitchen. Okay. Is this by chance your first time in Alligator, New York City? I mean, in the city, city, not, um, Alligator Long Island or something. It is. Who's this? 
I thought so. Oh, um, you don't know me. I'm sorry if that's weird. I just thought if you'd like, I could text you some tips. The city is really big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. Just noticing our, we're using Alligator Cell Phone 20X. It must be a real good model. Is it okay if I help you out from time to time? Sure. Ah, great. I'll be sure to text you again soon. Don't forget to enjoy yourself. I will. All right, what do we got here? We got train. We got Street Kiter 2. And Vampire Punter D. Oh no, we can't play any of these? Let's talk to this person playing train. The Train Player. Yeah, the Train Movie remake was passable. But if you ask me, nothing beats the part in the original where a train leaps into the air and the harness holding the actor breaks. <laughs> if you stay after the credits, you see the footage where he falls into the camera guy and a makeup artist holding two coffees. <laughs> Joni. Hey there, you up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know? Like Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day, but you... I'd remember such a visible face like yours. Why is my face so visible? Your face is apparently like the most visible face anyone has ever seen. <laughs> ah, look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball and some sticky fingered ki kids kept throwing me into the 10 point hole. Go for the 50, dingus, I tried to yell, but being a ball and all, the ding dong couldn't hear me. I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. <laughs> the vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast was black coffee and half a can of leftover candy cigarettes. Hmm? The name's Joni. Or Baloney, if you're my fourth grade bully, come back to fight me. You're not, right? Sam? Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping floors and keeping all the games running smooth as a baby's balmy behind. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I left to be closer to my gaming hobby. They let me keep this leather jacket, though. <laughs> and the company hairstyle. Pat. Pat's my cousin, and also the most genuine doof I know, so you better be nice to him, you hear? I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left hook, and a moderately insulting right hook, <laughs> and a kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. I tried to sign it up for some calming hot yoga at the YACA, but it didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? It ain't great, bud. <sighs> it ain't great. The event. Look, I know you're here spying for Pat for whatever reason, and that's fine, but I can't tell you family secrets, you feel me? To give up info that hot, you'd have to really impress me. I'm sensing a trend here. <laughs> so what do you think? Can you roll the ball, old timer? I'm talking pinball. The old peeny bee, as I like to call it, against the advice of both my friends, family, and the supportive therapist I see on Thursdays. I got the highest score on Lizard, Lizard Wizard. Here's eight months running. But I was, I'm always looking for a real pinhead to pit my skills against some real tongue twisters in yeah. here. So what do you say? Care to take on a pinball lizard like me? I didn't mean to make a joke. I take this very seriously. The old Pimmy B. Beat their score or go for more? Well, this time I can pass, but I think we gotta play. Press A to launch the ball. When the ball is in play, control the flippers with L and R. Be 4,500 points to earn Joni's respect. Just looking at the text on the pinball machine here. Darkness will prevail, TM. Ah, oh, where's my other catchphrase, TM? Oh, here it is, TM. I think these are TMs, or are they quote marks? No, I think they're TMs. Alligators aren't lizards, technically. <laughs> TM. Cobra, cadet, ca, cobra Cabra? 
TM. I would never be in pinball because I hate pinball deeply. <laughs> TM. <laughs> All right. Also, I leaned very close to the microphone reading those. I'm sorry if it was loud. Uh, okay. Oh. skills at pinball generally. I'm, I'm generally real bad at pinball um, I got the score I needed though uh, I, I enjoy pinball very much but I always have a hard time getting that ball to do what I want in my head about playing pinball other than to keep it from going in the hole. Like, everything else the ball does yeah. other than going in the hole is none of my oh. business. <laughs> so, like, if there's if there's a way to, like, aim for a specific thingy on the board, I have no idea how to do that. Sure. I'm just happy if I keep it out of the hole. I feel like it, it just takes a lot of experimentation. Sure. Okay, last ball. I thought I would continue studying my werewolf game oh. rule book, but oh. I'm finding this too distracting to <laughs> to do my tabletop RPG homework. Oh. Nobody tell my storyteller. <laughs> well, we did pretty good on the old Penny B. I'm gonna get a bad game, a bad grade in RPG. You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Is everybody in Alligator, New York City related to Pat? I'm getting that impression. Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen moves like that in front of the lizard wizards here. You had that ball hitting all the do-whats and who's it so fast, I could barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang with another student of the pinball arts. You found a puzzle piece. Oh, geez. About the event. Now this might just be a rumor, but word on the street, there's going to be some sick games there. Not pinball per se, but you know, you take what you can get. Anyway, that's all I can really say. I better get back to on the grind trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist, pinhead. Catch you later. Ugh, I wish I had more time to appreciate the art on the side of that pinball machine. Mm. Oh! Okay. We're learning. I just clicked on a skee-ball machine and I got a puzzle piece. Mm. So. What do puzzle pieces do? I don't know. But I have learned that sometimes you want to mouse around and uh, see if you get the old pointer finger. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What's that? Ooh. Another puzzle piece. We're just finding all kinds of goodies in here. Now let's check. Check the briefcase. So we have two family badges out of 33 and three puzzle pieces out of 48. Now, question, puzzle yeah. pieces. Can you assemble these puzzle pieces or do you just have them? I was hoping to find that out in here, but we can't We can't select anything other than these three buttons. I'm gonna open up help and see if maybe that will explain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Controls. L, Z, L, and R, Z, R. Do some things. Uh, plus button. Open your cool briefcase. View cool minigame instructions. Okay, that's handy. Left stick or right stick. Move your weird little hand. Directional buttons. Move them backgrounds around. A. Do some other things. Home button. Take me home country roads. Okay. So... Pretty much, pretty much knew all that. I did not realize that plus will open the briefcase, so that uh, makes things a little easier. Oh, instead of like mousing over it with your little hand. Yeah, I've been using my weird little hand to to click on the briefcase icon. Is the hand that weird? It seems surely like it must be a normal hand. I mean, it looks normal to me. I'm just going by what the game says right. here. Right. Um. Claude. <laughs> 
Do you think we'll get to play Alligator Final Fantasy? I can only hope. Claude and, and Vivaldi. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Vivi. Yeah. And nice. then the, the enemy is Arms Ajimbo. <laughs> I forgot to put my Do Not Disturb on. Your options are Fright, Hocus, and Pocus. I wish I could play this. <laughs> um, help? Okay. <laughs> you did, you did help getting the help to go away. Back. Okay. Let's talk to these uh, alligators playing pool here. Oh, there's somebody behind a curtain back there. Mm -hmm. Rocco! Why do we always gotta come up here? This place is a dump. And I'm gonna pause for a moment here. And move my face around. Because it's in the way. It seems like surely in the upper right corner ought to be safe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Might, might at worst intersect with a snoot. Scoot that on up there. I'll be good. I read this already, right? Why do we always gotta come up here? This place is a dump. Bonnie! You didn't have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in a dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. Like you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry from my dream journal last week. <laughs> Take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bonnie. I'm lining up my stick. You gotta be delicate with these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace all night waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. <laughs> How come you never hold me like that, Bon? <laughs> Oof. Y'all doing all right? If a grown man can't come to a children's arcade to unwind by hitting things with a stick and yelling swears, what kind of alligator country are we living in? I kind of want to talk to Joni again, but I also wonder if that's just going to let me play the game again. We'll find out. The old Penny B. Okay. And of course now that text box was in the upper right corner. Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, no. It didn't cover up any of the text for us, No so. corner is safe. Leaving that whole scene unedited and with added slide whistle noises, <laughs> now those were the days of true cinema. I feel like the coffee statistics were really believable. Practical effects, you know? Can you click on Shoot, that? take that, Master Conductor. Can you click on that person behind the curtain? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Party! My mom is always on my case, like, Artie, go outside and talk to other alligators. Or, Artie, stop hiding behind various types of curtains in and outside of our home. Like, I'm supposed to not hide behind various types of curtains in and outside of our home? What do you think I am, Mom? God! Puzzle piece! Oh, jeez! Nobody here but us curtains. So, I definitely want to talk to people as much as I can. Okay. They'll, they'll eventually repeat. I guess I can't play it all again. It's a bummer. Heck! Hey, cool it on that kind of talk, Rocco. There's a kid in here. Dang, you're right. Hey, what did I just say? Mouth on that, Rocco. There's just two rules if you want to rack up a game with me. Be cool, shoot pool, and stay in school. That's three, actually. And don't bring up how I never learned to count. <laughs> My apologies, Bonnie. Ah, that's the third game I lost in a row. You're too good at this, Bon. I know. Come on, what's your secret? Muscle, hustle, and wrestle. Russell? My holistic dentist. After he screamed with my mouth to stop <laughs> jazz, we hit up the pool hall downtown. Huh. I'm comfortable with myself. Good. I'm not comfortable with your dentist. Just lining up my shot. Oh, 
We got Claw School in the corner back here. Oh, sweet Geraldine. Hey up there, long arms, you got a sec? Nice suit, what's a fancy reptile like you doing at the back of the arcade? Well, I wanted to see the claw machine. I know what you're after, that's right, I've got you pegged just by looking at you. You want a, you want cold, hard, plush. Absolutely I do. Well, you found the right alligator, and I've got a job that'll pay for both our retirements and poorly made stuffies. You might see a humble claw machine, but this is a vault and we're gonna break in. But we can't just walk in. No, there's countermeasures. Sometimes Norma the security guard comes by and says I'm not allowed to put my claw and chair into the aisle. Without the boost, I'm not tall enough to work the claw. She says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are. You see behind there? That's one ailing power strip juicing up every one of these babies. One wrong move in pinball and boom. This place lights up my, my chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen burner too high. Whom? Me? I'm known around these parts as Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine. You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints and Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. Or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. At least that's what he said when I asked him to the spring flame. Pat. Pat is a patsy, but not my patsy, that's for sure. He's related to some of my dad's friends. Interesting. Okay, so this is the first person we've met that's not related to Pat? Uh, I suppose there was the uh, bub in the uh, hotel that was probably not related to Pat. One time at Dad's show, Pat pulled the fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. Turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. No one could find him for almost an hour until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall's crawl space. He was covered in spiders and had eaten the pizza but was otherwise unharmed. Physically, anyway. That guy's pretty weird. The event? Yeah, Sweet Geraldine's pretty great. I'd love to tell you about the event. I really would. Oh, I just noticed her shirt! I need this shirt! Holly, you gotta come check out this shirt. Her... Her purse is very cute, too. A strawberry purse. But this is our first time on the job together, Mac. You haven't yet earned my unbridled trust. I'm gonna wait for Unsecret Crush to come back. <gasps> Look at that anime shirt. I love her. It's so good. She's I love adorable. Her whole deal. Yes. Her little strawberry bag. Also, I'm just noticing this coin thief machine in the background. <laughs> you stick in your wallet and you get fun? Question mark? It's also, uh, I guess those are like uh, prize tickets on the ground and a used band aid and a crumple up piece of paper on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is still in the arcade? Yeah, this is in the back corner of the arcade. There's a claw machine and uh, we're gonna maybe do some crimes on the claw machine? Oh! And we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. The claw machine, it's a two-man operation. I need someone who's not gonna rat me out for additional prizes when push plush comes to shove, you feel me? What do you say, old timer? One last claw machine score. The big one. Claw school. Grab the prizes as she advises. <laughs> Are we gonna get a plush bread? I hope so. I will play, absolutely. Follow Sweet Geraldine's instructions to get the perfect claw machine prize. Use left and right to move the claw and press A to drop it. Here she is, the big quesadilla, the mother load. Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. I've had my eye on a couple of choice goods, but I needed an accomplice with, with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So what do you say? Um, I'm starting to wonder what Sweet Geraldine's doing here. What do you mean? Uh, she keeps suggesting this is a, a two alligator operation, but... Well, she's gonna direct you, I guess. Okay. She can probably, like, see from more angles. What have we got in here? We got, uh... An alligator princess, which is very cute. I think it's a magical girl. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
uh, some ED bars, some mix of candy. We got a key. We got a little cute monster. Um, a jellyfish guy. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm thinking this is an otter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crystals, a key, ladybug. Uh, something that looks like a CD. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. Sounds good. First, you should warm up your tricky digits, okay? Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer, show me what you got. What should I go for? Oh, I got a shell here in the middle. Oops, hmm. I already, did I already screw up? Or I can know. I, okay. I can freely move the claw machine. I'm guessing try to get this uh, magical girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm guessing like if you want something in the lower layer, you have to move the things in the upper layer first. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we got okay. an ED bar. I heard a prize. Let's check the slot. Wow, a big ED bar. They stopped making these in the 90s. <laughs> oh no. This is just like when my science teach when my science class dug up fossils, or when I found my old retainer under several strata layers of anime wall scrolls. <laughs> You got some chops, and I respect that. But now the real job begins. How will you react when the pressure's on? Oh, things got mixed up here, and we got different prizes. That's interesting. This time, you follow my lead. Okay. Get me that cool ring with the three gems. There's something about it. Round two. Uh, where is the ring? Oh, I see it. Okay. So it's kind of in the middle, to the left here. Now, I would have thought it'd be impossible to get, but last time the claw just kind of dug through the top wire. So let's see what we get here. Uh-oh. Oh. You got one. What is it? Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. I'll eat the bug. It's just not what I wanted. I can still see the prize I want. Here's another quarter. Could you try again? Give me that cool ring with three gems. There is something about it. Okay. Oh, we keep getting mixed up here, so... Just gotta keep trying. I have to admit, like, I'm kind of tempted to get other stuff just so we can <laughs> see what all the other prizes are. But... I don't want to be here all day, I guess. You got one, what is it? This is so cute that I think I just lost a piece of my childhood wonder. Oh no! I think it's cute. I may never experience true unfettered joy again. Oh no. Okay. What did you do that caused you to lose a piece of your childlike wonder? Uh, I got one of these little, uh, Duck creatures? Oh. She doesn't like those? It, it was so uncute that she lost a piece of her childhood uh, wonder. I'm still trying to get this ring. Right. The ring with the three gems on the bottom now. Oh, I see it. This is tricky. Ooh. Oh, I've already outgrown my crystal face. My anime face is far more powerful. That's fair. So she's just telling you what price she wants, not necessarily how to obtain it? Yeah, she's not really giving me any guidance other than to get the cool ring. I keep getting too far to the right. I already have 10 copies of this, including the holographic variant cover. Seems to be a CD of guys. I can't, like, is it... Eight guys? Yeah, is it eight guys? Is that, like, a stylized G? G guys? No. Like, there's clearly less than eight guys yeah, there's, there. There's three guys on the cover. Yeah. But maybe there's eight guys in the band. Or maybe there were originally eight guys, and now there's only three left. Mm. But they didn't want to change their name. That's my theory. All right, this is it. We're doing it.
Huh? Oh. You're gonna get an apple. This doesn't even have a worm in it. <laughs> That's rough. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's only a child. Oops. Oh. Retrying costs 30 minutes. Huh. I just, I just realized I haven't been keeping track of the time. <laughs> we better at least check the time. Yeah. I guess now I'll have to explore the library or take part in municipal team sports to pass my time. It's rough, kid. Yep. Got another text. Hey again, your fairly friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? I have. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats, a real menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. The world is bright, so have lots of fun looking around. I will. Uh, let's check the time. 9.30. Okay. What so we still got 30 minutes. Like, something, something was going to happen at a certain time, but I do not remember what time that was. Do you? It was 10. I remember the time mentioned was 10. Okay. I do not remember anything else. Like, what you have to do at 10? <laughs> yeah. Um, You're waiting for a trolley, I think, right? There was definitely mention of a trolley, um, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure ten was the time I needed to get on the trolley. Okay. In order to leave time for the trolley to get somewhere. Right. It seems right. Um. The thing I'm unclear about with that little thirty minutes. Um. No. Hmm. Now there's no like 30 minutes indicator thing here. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess it was just indicating that playing again would, would cause another 30 minutes of time to pass. Seems like. Uh, So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go outside and look around. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else we might want to do before we gotta get on the trolley. Oh, the trolley's here. Hey, Bob, you're just in time. The trolley got here a minute ago. We're blocking the text again. No corner is safe. I apologize. Why don't you go check out the city? Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe, or some protective a handwear. I'm gross. Oh! Got some new folks hanging out. Lovely Maria. Oh dear, I think I may have left my scrapbooking scissors at home on accident. Oh, I found my scissors. It must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. Hee <laughs> hee. I've been trying to get outside the home more since I had the new baby. Nana's watching her today, so here I am, out in the world. It's a little nerve-wracking to be away from the nursery after those months, to be honest. Haha, <laughs> I already missed the new baby smells. Well, not all the smells. <laughs> we all know more things come out of babies than just the sweet fragrance of their cute little heads. Well, even that stuff is a little cute, hee <laughs> hee. I'm Maria, it's wonderful to meet you. I was heading to the local YACA before I ran into you. I'm taking a class there today on scrapbooking, but I'm a little early. I meant to wait here in the lovely weather until their class on mom yoga and self-defense ends. Eat, pray, shove, hee <laughs> hee. Do you mean my son Pat? This is Pat's mom? Hmm. Oh, I'm so, I'm just so proud of him. It's his birthday today, did you know? He's so funny with how he treats himself to a hotel stay every year on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast and those free tiny soaps. I do get concerned he eats too many of those, however. Such should be come out of the snoot of a boy that age. 
The event is actually why I'm taking this class today. Now you can tell us more? Actually, since you're one of Pat's friends, maybe you could help a mom out? You see, I'm trying to put together our family tree to bring tonight as a surprise, but I don't have everyone's pictures. It's so hard for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone would like me to use their photos from the early 2000s. We all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. Since you're already going around town, would you mind snapping some pictures of the family? And you get and bring back, I'll put in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. Oh, I see I already have one there. Would you like to put it in? I have two, actually. Here, you can have mine as well. Don't want anyone feeling lonely. You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Let's see how much you've learned so far. Oh, nice. Family history mystery. Cover the fam to <laughs> collect the fam to uncover the scam. I'll play. Is this a game? Press and hold A on an alligator portrait, then drag it onto the family tree. Come back anytime to see your collection. Okay. You have to. You have to like. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, you have to like put them in the right place, or. Seems that way. Oh gosh. Um, oh. Hmm. So, here's what we know. Mm -hmm. This is Pat's mom. Right. Pat don't have any kids, so Pat's gonna be at the bottom, right? And well, it sounds like Pat has a new sibling. Right. So, maybe here? Not a clue. I'm gonna... Hmm. Oh, <laughs> it fell. Because it was in the wrong spot or because I missed. Hmm. something wrong or if uh, it's just not putting it in the right spot or what? Um, plus button brings up minigame controls again, right? Drag it onto the family tree. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like I need to press any other buttons. Okay. I'm guessing I just have the wrong spot and it'll only stick if I put it in the right spot. Maybe. Where did mom go? Mom uh, she rolled over into the corner. Okay. Um, Gator family. I forget how Slick Mickey was related. I, cousin? No. I also don't remember. I know uh, Joni was a yeah, cousin. Yeah, Joni's a cousin. I don't remember what Slick Mickey said. Mm -hmm. It's a family tree. Yeah, yeah. So the bottom, the bottom's the trunk of the tree. Oh, am I going in the, I'm thinking in the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah, so the, the bottom's gotta be like great, great, yeah. great mammy or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Second cousin. So I would so guess maybe... mom is gonna be somewhere mm. in the middle, in the middle layer. Yeah. Like, it makes sense. Like this, this tree isn't even connected. Like that's a separate family, I guess. So I assume this, this whole connected mess is gonna be where Pat goes. Mm -hmm. So Pat's probably up here somewhere, I and then his mom's Pat, maybe somewhere in here. Like there's, um, like start from the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, go up the line to the. I'm just going by it as an example here. Mm -hmm. uh, go up the line on the right, mm -hmm. and then that's like somebody's grandma. Mm -hmm. So that unconnected line, that's gotta be an unrelated spouse. So the connected lines, that's gonna be all the blood family, blood relatives. So that, the circle you're hovering over right there mm -hmm. is a descendant of 
the trunk of the tree right. and their spouse, and then the lines coming off of those are the children. Right. I'm just gonna assume, based on her genealogical interest, that mom is gonna be related to the trunk of the tree. Hmm, I think so, so I would guess that she should be one of the connected lines. Mm -hmm. Ah! There we go. Lovely Maria, age 48. Occupation, church rummage sale cashier. Okay. So then Joni is probably going to be so, one, of the, one of the circles along the top. So these are going to be her three kids. Yep. So one of these would be Pat, and then one of these would be new baby. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, Pat's, or not Pat's, Maria's spouse. Yes, yeah. so that would be Pat's father. Yeah. Um, so Joni's a cousin, so she's going to so, be on the same... Somewhere. Levels children, but with different parents. Yeah. I don't know if we should just experiment or if we should learn more. <laughs> I feel confident that one of these dots that you are currently hovering over is going to end up being where Joni goes. Uh -huh. Also, just kind of assuming that no. Joni. Did you try all of the all of the circles in the in the middle section of the big tree? I think I tried all these. Okay. I didn't... What about what about the one at the top? That's a, that's oh, a child. You're right. You're right. Okay. I'm just kind of guessing that Joni is the same age as Pat, but maybe maybe she's closer to Maria's age. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Joni, age 23. Occupation, pinball wizard. Okay. Slick Mickey was a second cousin, perhaps? So... Slick Mickey's got to be on one of the outer branches, for sure. Yeah, or like maybe there's a couple circles that are completely separate. Mm-hmm. There we go. Slick Mickey, age 18. Occupation, annoying people. It's important that everyone has a job <laughs> they're good at. Okay, we're all done there. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Got a text from Pat. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost 10. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Oh no. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that could mean anything. Oh, we have that coupon. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. I'm on my way. some things I want to uh, mouse around in here. Like, I keep saying mouse around. I'm not using I mean, mouse. what else could you call it, though? <laughs> Cursor around. Poke around? Poke around. There we go. I'm not... Oh. I guess that was just... I got, got close to Pat. I don't see anything to poke at. Unfortunately. It's a shame, really. Don't bot me! Oh, oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. We are Agent 47, aren't we? I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. D didn't you have dare when you were in <laughs> elementary school? You know, dare. Dude, assassins really exist. <laughs> At least, I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. <laughs> it was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. <laughs> anyway, did you find out anything from the family? 
Well, well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail? Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. Maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. Unless... Logie with bread? I'm not familiar with I mean, this I word. I know it's a word, but I couldn't tell you what it means or how to use it appropriately. <laughs> Let's go. Where are we going? Okay, we're just waiting. My safe place. Find the code to Pat's abode. I don't know, we gotta crack the combination? Help Pat remember his room code. Oh gosh. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take 10 more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. It even made a button you can click for it. Gee, I'm really glad now I took those oddly specific button-making classes at my local community center. <laughs> you got... Are you... Oh, no. Do you have the capability of um, showing this website on screen? Um... Oh, here we are. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? That's www.alligator.fun. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to uh, want to show a website on stream, but I think we can make it work. And also, I think it's time for a break. I need to drink a glass of water because um, my mouth's getting a little dry from reading all this yeah, dialogue. If you want me to help with reading, let me know. Oh, sure. That always makes um, me do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll be back in a minute and we'll see if we can get the website on stream so we can all enjoy it together.
Okay, uh, I think we're going to have to kind of uh, edit the scene live here, but I'm going to do it. Shouldn't be too hard. Alligator.fun. It's a little too big. Also, the animated gifts aren't animating. Oh, hmm. Uh, that will. Oh, will that change once you're that done? That will probably change there? when I switch back to the web page. Okay. Okay, we got animation. This is Pat's homepage. That is, that is quite a dancing alligator, baby. <laughs> Sorry, under construction. I find this GeoScaly's website very nostalgic. It's very good. Oh, the visitors are really going up here. Looks like we just have two things we can click on. Mm -hmm. We have About Me, so let's check that out first. Welcome to my homepage, About Me. I'm Pat. That's Pat. Under construction. And then we have Don't Click Pat Only, but he said it's okay, so we can click, right? Yeah. If you're not Pat, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police. 91619. Okay. Nine one six one nine. You did it! Thank you so much. You're welcome, Pat. You got this from the hardware store, eh? Oh no. Oh, I just know there's a little browser button in the corner here. Whoa. I, I can't close it. What's going on? Help, you gotta help me. Acid eating a hole in the floor? I don't even like pink. Uh, so do you have to put the code in again? What was it? 91619? I think so. I don't, like, I can't think of anything to do other than put the code in again. Yeah. World icon is maybe to take you to like the world map or something like that. Or I don't know. I don't know. I feel like let's find out. Yeah. Oh, that's we could, funny. We could have just opened this. Oh well. It's interesting. This kind of looks like it's maybe actually a fake uh, mm. version of the web page. Right, right, right. It's funny that it never occurred to me that that there would be a version of the website that you could access within the game. Right. <laughs> Tim, hello, my word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two, and why have you opened my door? <sighs> Who am I? I'm Pat, and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But this is my door where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But if that's true, and my password still worked, 
Is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? We have the same code. And our families are both trying to kill us. I'm about to laugh. <laughs> so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have both been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here. Or I'll come for you. Endlessly. <laughs> I wonder if they, like, both use the default code from the hardware store. <laughs> that sure was a string of unlikely co coincidences, wasn't it? I hope that guy's room is okay. That stuff... Oh. Kind of smelled like broomstone. <laughs> This us? Ha! This is my actual room. They're so similar, no wonder I mixed them up. Enter the code. Nine one six one nine. Thanks! I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in. Win! Phew, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m., so don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. I just remembered, what, what happened in the trolley? Mm -hmm. I really wish I could remember what we were supposed to do with the trolley. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Bye for now. Oh, I was hoping we could poke around Pat's room a little. Just check the time. Real quick. 10.30. So at 4 p.m., we got to meet up with Pat again, correct? Okay. Pretty sure that's correct. What was supposed to happen? Pretty again? sure that's what we were just told. I mean, we met we met with Pat again. Oh, okay. So like, I assume that was what we needed to do. Okay. I just I remember him saying something about the trolley and right. like the trolley was there and some people had gotten off it. I don't know if we were supposed to do anything with the trolley, mm -hmm. but you know, we met with Pat at ten, so I assume it's fine. Sure. A lot of people around now. Charlene. Do you want to be Charlene? Sure. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene, sharing a meal with just me, myself, and I. The kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. You're not really taking the hint, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I was hoping we might get a puzzle piece. <clears throat> I suppose it's good that we weren't rewarded for harassing Charlene. <laughs> My girlfriend is coming to pick me up after work. I'm so nervous. She's just so cool and strong. I mean, it. she's literally coming to pick me up after work. Well, she'll put me, who knows. Welcome. It from Bob. Can we talk to this person? No, I think she's no. just kind of like, uh... Just a passerby. Yeah. Ooh, we can poke at the kitchen now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we won't do that anymore. Oh, we can investigate. Puzzle piece! This... This is... Character looks a little suspicious back here. Yeah. We can't do anything with them. They're just looping, though, like the yeah. suitcase lady. Okay, I guess guess we'll get out of here now. Oh! Ha! There's all kinds of things we can mouse around on now. Okay. Mm 
Let's talk to this person. Daryl. You all read it? John Johnny's here? The food's all right, but that bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. I picked that thing up and bam, chowder pants the rest of the day. Oh, jeez. That's rough. Chowder pants is my nickname at work, but from an unrelated chowder-centered incident. <laughs> Listen, can we stop talking about it? I'm still feeling pretty sensitive about the whole thing. Buddy, you brought it up. This is almost as bad as the unlimited breadsticks debacle of last summer. What's not unlimited is apparently how much shame I can feel. That's Mr. Chowderpants to you. Uh, so we got a couple puzzle pieces, but we didn't get any more... Uh, family badges. We got Pat. Oh yeah, we did get Pat. You're right. Thank you. Oh my, you're back already. Why, hello again, dear. Did you manage to take any family photos? You did. You got a photo of your son, Pat. This one should be pretty easy. Third try? There we go. There's Pat. Age 24. Occupation? Lovable doofus. Biotech. Biotech? What you doing in biotech, Pat? Being a lovable doofus. <laughs> Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Okay. Should we... Let's try the crane game again. Okay. I really want to win that crane game. Got a snoot for loot. I got my eyes on surprises. Back to turn another trick, eh, oldie? Come on, one last score. You can't let down sweet Geraldine. Here she is, the big quesadilla, the mother load. Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. I've had my eye on a couple of choice goods, but need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for cute snoots. Oh, we gotta do warm up again. Uh, let's get this. Probably gonna go past the otter. Well, we'll try anyway. I mean, it's at the top though, so it'll probably grab it still. Hey, yeah. we got it! The Ohemon anime is a bazillion years old and only weird grown ups remember <laughs> it. I thought it looked a little Duramon like. Mm -hmm. I bet you'd only get the reference of it being here at all if you were totally an old person. <laughs> She wants something different now. Yeah, we want the big crystal this time. But I thought she was past her crystal phase, or is she talking about the diamond? Yeah, I think so. If you get her a new strawberry bag. Where's that? Oh, I see. We'll do our best to get the diamond. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, I like this alligator. I think it might be like alligator pusheen. Oh, it is! <laughs> you got one, what is it? It's only oh. glass, right? They wouldn't put a huge actual diamond in here, right? Still see the prize they want. Okay. okay, so that wasn't what she wanted. Here's another quarter. Could you try again? So yeah, I guess we do want the, the okay. chunk of crystals, which she previously was very uninterested in when we got one before. Which is hilarious. because Oh, the ring's back. Yeah, now the ring's right on top. Hmm. This is going to be tricky, because this is as far right as I can go. Mm -hmm. And we got an apple. No worm. Hmm. It's not... Mixing them up, either. Hmm. I think, um... 
I mean, obviously you should follow your heart, but I I want to see what she has to say about alligator pushing. <laughs> Me too. I wonder if you can um, take advantage of the swing. Yeah, it does. It does seem like the swing is important. Wow, dirt. <laughs> Just dirt. Yes. You know, it's not what I asked for, but a girl can always use another gator sheen. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. She's just so cute and shiny. My eyes. Well, I'm glad she was happy with that prize at least. All right. Last one. old timer that was my very last quarter all games are hard yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go one more <clears throat> yeah i broke my teeth <laughs> okay practice round uh let's try to get Actually, let's, for experimentation purposes, let's see if we can, yeah. See if we can what? I was going to try to get the uh, magical alligator girl, mm. uh, since it was in the same spot the crystal was. Mm. And also we haven't uh, gotten the commentary on that one. I wonder if I'll hear the ocean if I put this to my ear. It said ocean rise will cause irreversible, irreversible agricultural soil contamination. Depressing. A little bit. Okay. Scissors? That's not a good prize. <laughs> hey guys, E, get me that boy band CD or I'm gonna explode. Didn't we already get you one of those? You said you had ten of them. <sighs> I swear this is impossible. Yeah, I, I... Oh, that was different. There's another depressing ocean fact. Okay. This is a little more doable this time. Oh, scissors. I'm actually not supposed to use these without my dad around. <laughs> That's good. yet I'm like eight or ten or something oh, that's what you wanted before so picky I feel like an eight or ten year old girl is very fickle it's right at the top now but I feel like we're gonna miss it mm -hmm. yeah you do make a good point about eight or ten year old girls yes Yes, my favorite K-pop group, and it's limited edition, packed with the sweat of two of the eight band members. Chris. I don't even mind that Joshua Ransom got arrested for indecent snow tubing. I still love him. And hopefully the frostbite is on the men, just like fans' hearts. You're really good at this. But it's finally time for the big sc That wasn't the oh, big no. score? Oh, no! Really? I can see it in your eyes. You're ready to get the ultimate prize. Are we? Get me the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise of all time, Final Friend City. <laughs> He's the dreamy one with the spiky hair. This is it, the big one. <sighs> oh. He's right there. A Claude? Oh, there's a get... Spider-Man! <laughs> and a puzzle piece. Oh, 
There's a, a the, the thing she wants is right at the top. There's oh, also a Pyro no. Man and a puzzle piece and a kind of oh, no. disturbing duck creature. What's it on the right? This creature. The, yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like a, like a unicorn or something. Where's the disturbing duck? You mean this one here that we yes. got before? We oh, got I... one of those before. She thought it was very uncute. I must have missed that one. Oh, there's two clods. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to do my best. Yeah. Like, I feel like if Good. we miss it, we'll probably get the puzzle piece. Right. There you go. We got a clod. Did you get it? The ultimate prize? OMGs! I can't believe you got the dreamiest anime Game Boy from Final Friend City, Claude Stripes! <laughs> Claude, his hair is almost as prickly as his social interactions with women. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. We won Claw School. Can we play again to get the puzzle piece though? I can't believe it, the big score! And thanks to you, we had a clean getaway. She seems to think she's doing crimes, but she's not doing crimes. Maybe she's not allowed to use the claw machine. <laughs> that's, that's reasonable. You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. I'll tell you what you need to know. The event is a secret. I'm a gator, not a rat. That's right, a classic double cross. That's the calling card of Sweet Geraldine, Master Criminal. Oh, gosh. I can't believe it. Did okay. she identify herself as a family member of Pat? She did, called? but once again, I do not remember how she was related. Okay. If anyone does remember, please let me know. I feel like I missed the beginning of your interaction with oh, her. Oh, right, you did. I don't know if there's any way to... Like, obviously we could just experiment. Right. Um, I don't know if there's any way to, like, go back through dialogue we can't remember, or, you know, ask her to reintroduce herself. <laughs> sister rather. That was not her brother. <laughs> Pretty sure. Ah, there she there is. There we go. Sweet Geraldine. Age tween. Occupation mod on age appropriate anime forum. <laughs> Good for her. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Thank you, lovely Maria. Okay, what else we got here? Um, I guess we can get on the trolley, probably? Presumably, Maybe not? There's a little trolley icon in the corner that appeared. Oh, okay. I assume that's what you want. Yeah. Uh, let's check the time. We gotta meet with Pat at 4. It's 12.30. We got plenty of time. Let's hop on the trolley. <laughs> Welcome to my beautiful city, Mayor Wibblyfin. Thank you, Mayor. Fun facts! Booming bug economy! Free hot dogs on Fridays! See the Alligator New York City Alligator Opera presents Alligator Pagliacci! We got a map of Alligator New York City. Uh, where are we right now? I don't know. We have to choose from Alligator Memorial Park, unsavory part of town, Fun District. Fun District kind of looks selected, so maybe that's where we are. Yeah. Also, it got the arcade there, so right. it makes sense. And then we have Downtown. Where is it that we're supposed to meet Pat at four? <laughs> I 
I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of figured we'd go back to his hotel room, right? I don't know. <laughs> My memory's so bad. I know he said something about downtown at some point, okay. but I feel like that was just like a suggestion of like we, we could go downtown. Mm -hmm. Somebody said something about downtown. Let's go downtown. Okay. A tree grows in Alligator, Brooklyn. That's what someone was reading on the trolley. Let's see, we've got Nana Roo's Antique Shop. I sell bug. Somebody sleeping in their car. Some folks singing on a balcony. What's up with that guy? Let's find out. That's George. The Breeze, the practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be at a live alligator. Sure. Even though it gets noisy sometimes, I love living in the city. It's so full of life and good burger joints. Ah, I'm so content. I love this city. I love this city. Just loves the city so much. Mona the Snipper. Are you here about joining the resistance? Maybe. Come to the front door, but don't let the feds tell you. The password is the only thing worth fighting for. Justice Absolute. Which is also the name of my favorite Mark's Leaning Ska Band. Yes, I said favorite. There are more than one. There are two, as a matter of fact. The first single was about putting a potato in the tailpipe of a crooked alligator governor when he tried to join their mailing list. No GMOs. That's no governors may opt in. Mm. I'm Mona, but you can call me by my online handle for safety, which is kpopangel85. What? I can have other interests besides the cause. Do you mean Hat Pat or do you mean Bat Pat? I, I don't know. Probably Hat Pat? He does wear a hat. Yeah, it's gotta be Hat Pat. No, no, you probably mean Hat Pat. Bat Pat is my high schooler neighbor that used to pick me up for DSA meetings on Fridays until he got grounded. <laughs> He'd apparently broken his Nine, -Nine. Nine Eyes favorite set of extremely fragile and large eyed porcelain deer with something? A club? Hmm, well, it's not important. We'll spring him eventually. Yes, Dad, I mean legally. Anyway, Hat Pat is okay, dude. I barely know the guy, but he still made me a punch proof vest to wear to protests out of Dr. Soda bottle caps. He's a stand-up alligator. He maybe drinks too much soda, though. Doesn't he know what the government puts in in that stuff? I tell you, but the CIA agent that watches my cell phone would probably delete my chumbler in vengeance. That's where I keep all my pictures of day one. <laughs> Which? I have four events to go to this week alone. Like tomorrow, it's Minestrone Monday in the soup kitchen. Then it's on to Taco Tuesday at the women's shelter. Wednesday doesn't have a funny name, but everyone does get those cupcakes with the white squiggle as an extra at the alligator food bank. If you're talking about tonight, though, you might as well go act like a cop somewhere else, Officer Pinstripes. I don't rat out my comrades. My mind is bolted up so tight the Mount of Monte Count of Monte Cristo has spent years trying to escape from me whilst plotting his vengeance against those who wronged him. We just finished reading that book in my Tuesday lit class. Pretty baller, TBH. I love revenge and breakfast. Listen, I'm not trying to give you credit about Pat or something. I'm just a little stressed out. Not to go all first world probs on you, Bobs, but I have a zine due to be scanned by tomorrow afternoon. If I miss this deadline, it won't get printed in time for the Indie Comics slash Annual People with Bangs <laughs> convention this weekend. Do you know how long it takes to staple a stack of those zines? At least two full episodes listening to Gator Crater, a true crime podcast about the world's most blown up alligators. Yikes. Oh my goodness. Yes, Dad, I also have Algebra 2 homework. If you could help me put some of these pictures together, maybe I could give you the straight dope about that dope. So, are you ready to join the resistance? Heck yeah, let's go. <laughs> Smells like Zine Spirit. Make paper word salad because your voice is valid. This is fantastic. I did not read the instructions. I just clicked yeah, right just, through them. Just make a zine. I do know the button to bring them back, though. 
So check it, pinstripes. I've already done all the hard zine stuff, like picking the clips and cutting everything with semi-straight lines. I need you to pick a good selection, then glue them into place. Sadly, ever since the stickening of 2017, I'm not allowed to use glue myself. Or glue sticks. Or rubber cement. Or large stickers. Or small stickers. So you're going to have to be the hero that sticks the picks. This zine encompasses, of course, the three most important, most zine -y things possible. I'm talking about social issues, indie comics, and K-pop, obviously. These three topics go together like peanut butter, jelly, and a third comparable thing that escapes me in this moment. But that doesn't mean we can le lean into any one more than the other. My zine has to be balanced or people will think I'm biased. That means no page space for any one thing more than the other. So pick up a pick and get ready to stick. Careful though, I have a limited selection of content and glue is forever. Just ask my hamster. Oh no, poor hamster. <laughs> Rip in Valhalla, Goopy the Third, 2015 through 2017. <clears throat> when you're done, we'll ask the editor if it's ready to scan, so get pasting. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, I just want to double check the instructions here. Mona's zine needs to cover three topics evenly. Choose clips with left and right, then glue them down with A. Be careful, some clips cover two topics at once. Dang. That's complex. The cover is really important. It has to betray the essence of what's on the inside. But it's sort of like choosing what ironically humorous t-shirt to sport at Rosh Hashanah that'll really <laughs> unsettle your extended family. Okay, we got Exposed, Wibbly Finn's Truth. K-pop edition, eight guys, local indie comics. I see, so <clears throat> you're picking from three images of, oh. of possible covers. There's that one, we got Bundle, an indie comic zine. K-pop edition, eight guys, Wibbly Finn. So each one has all the three correct topics. Right. Just one I has kinda, a different one feature. I kind of feel like this is a little bit like um, the warm-up claw machine, and it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Yeah, this is also my assumption. Yeah. I'm kind of kind of digging this. Uh, well, K-pop is good too. I like this. This one here is very dramatic, so yeah. we're gonna go with this one. Like, I, I feel like her as a character, like social issues, is yeah. her thing, but then she also likes. K-pop and indie comics. Yeah. Eat it, Wibbly Finn. This will get him canceled for sure. Don't forget to balance the topics. I wouldn't want anyone to excuse me of political bias or standing bias. <laughs> okay. So I guess I guess each spot we have a selection of panels we can place. Right. And then you don't get to see what the next selection is going to be until you've committed to one. Right. Else. That's interesting. Yeah. So so this one we just have two panels. We have uh, Eight Guys panel together for Eight Ever Tour and we have Wibbly Finn, two black and white on the big issues. We're going to start with that since he's kind of our yeah. main focus. I actually made this one myself. No one watches the Xerox machine in the school library at lunchtime on Tater Tot Day. Ooh, Tater Tot. Okay, now we have some comics. We have a... Okay, this is facts about eight guys. Uh, okay, one of the people in eight guys. X-Top. Style Tuffy, Hair Freedom. And then we have a comic. Can you read that? I'm gonna physically it's so get tiny. up and walk towards the TV because it's too small. Yeah. Want to see something? Okay. Look. <laughs> I think the last panel says mother. Okay, that's what I thought. Huh. You know, just a little of surface <clears throat> humor indie comics. Um, I feel like I feel like we need to choose the eight guys panel. Mm -hmm. Otherwise. Like, I don't know that each page needs to be balanced, necessarily. I'm not sure if that has been made clear. Mm, yeah, that's a good point. Like, the zine as a whole needs to be balanced. I took right. that to mean that you wanted each page to also be balanced. Right. It seems like, to play it safe, we should 
we should make sure each page is balanced. So right. hopefully we'll get our third topic in the last panel. X top was my favorite before he got that haircut. Ooh. Now he just looks like local weirdo beardo Giovanni from my homeroom. Hopefully he smells less like chemical burns. Thanks. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. so... Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh right! I remember now, the third... The third thing was thing Indie was comics. comics! What did you think the third thing was? I couldn't remember. <laughs> Can we back? Can we back up? I don't know. The glue's permanent. We yeah, the glue back is up. permanent. <laughs> Do we really want someone who eat a sad lunch from another t for another term in office? It looks like a burger and some soda. Is that sad? And we got a panel about ten comma six from eight guys. Ugh. Okay. Um. This is rough. Uh, I'm gonna hope that we can... Correct our mistake. <laughs> correct this on the next panel. So we're gonna have two, two political panels and one K-pop panel. So we need, we're gonna need two comics and one K-pop on the next page. TBH just one kind of mondo bums me out. I really love the the goo bottle. Oh, it's okay. very so good. Little... Oh, we the got next a full page. The page is uh, K-pop focused. Okay. I didn't win the award at last year's con, but I did place third in Cool Bangs. Uh, so we got, yeah, we just have two K-pop focused pages to choose from here. They did say that some pages, some images can cover more than one topic. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm looking out for that, but it doesn't seem like we've gotten any of those so far. Sure, I'm just, I'm scanning the interview. Hmm. Q&A with Joshua Ransom. I didn't really get an interview. This is just what I hope he'd make, he'd say to me. Ah, love you, JR. Hope you read this. Heart, heart, heart. Question. Ah, answer. Ah, oh, that's okay. I love you. Question, what type of girls do you like? Answer, oh, any kind, but mostly the kind that are like you on the inside. <laughs> Question, who is doing the costuming for your next tour? Answer, actually, the designer couldn't do it anymore because you look like the perfect person to take his place. Question, what's that amazing smell of flowers? What is it? Answer, I emit this amazing smell when I'm near someone I might have feelings for as long as it's okay with them. <laughs> A question from name would you be our new costume designer and also live with me forever answer from interviewer now becoming interviewee oh my i couldn't okay fine i'll do it <laughs> uh we're gonna go with that one. Oh, yeah. that's a good page this one's a real exclusive i can't believe we got it i'm also curious like that was a full page but does that just count for one thing yeah, I don't know. I'm going to assume yes and say that we're two political and two eight guys. So okay. hopefully we can load this page up with uh, comics yeah. and then we'll be balanced. The last inside page is a hard hitter. You have to really leave them wanting more. Like really actual, actually more. Like maybe they'll give you a couple more bucks to pick up a few for their comrades. This is Lois. She feels Wibbly Finn is an inadequate mayor. <laughs> Oh no, this is bad. We're in trouble. Balance the budget? He can't even balance on this log. In his own yard, no less. Got him. <laughs> the thing I'm wondering, like, does this count as a little comic, maybe? I don't know. Or is it just all political? I don't know. And we got a picture of eight guys on stage. I would go with eight guys. This time and... we only have seven guys. Hmm. I was gonna say, I'd go with eight guys and the log balancing. Oh, I think we're gonna have different pan different panels to choose from for the bottom. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I mean, I, I think we're kind of in trouble here, no matter right. what. I guess since the previous page was eight guys, I would do mayor. 
I know this one is particularly... Oh, what? Occasionally it auto-advances. I don't... Mm -hmm. She says something like, I, I pride myself on my zines tackling the important stuff. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we have very, we have a couple of very tiny comics, and then we have uh, Wibbly Finn, who apparently wants to spend all his money on public restroom chocolate fountains. Wibbly Finn would rather save the scales on his back than weigh in on what matters. He's not putting enough into healthcare. Will I always be so alone? Am I destined to be on my own, like the most beautiful star in the sky, that other stars are not near because it's just too slamming? <laughs> At least pompous guy misunderstandings is still streaming. <laughs> but soon, even they will leave me too. Oh, jeez. Cassandra, with every beat of my heart, I long for you. D D Douglas! <laughs> I am very stoic and I don't like anyone because of my tragic past. But you, Cassandra, have broken through my harsh, scaly exterior and changed me with your extremely quirky personality, inability to cook, and unusually beautiful singing voice. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one, I think. Yes. That's a good one. This one's a last minute submission from my friend's cousin, Minna. You can read the rest on her blog. It got called a tour de force by someone whose Twitter icon was the best ship from a popular TV show. Okay, back page. We're almost there. Just paste on the back cover and we'll be done. All right, so that's an indie comic starring eight guys. Ooh, okay. Hopefully we have an indie comic that's uh, just indie comics because that's gonna get us the closest to being balanced. Oh no, this is all three, or no. Okay, I think this is just Wibbly Finn and eight guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Gerrymandering fingers, embezzling tail. Okay, so this this comic says team effort, starring eight guys. Uh, all the eight guys are sleeping in bed, and then there's a pile of phones all going off at 7 a.m. And there's some text in Korean that I cannot read. Uh, and then there's a panel of them all getting out of bed, and then there's a panel, uh, I think, showing what each of them had for breakfast. And then they're ready. So I guess we're gonna pick that one. Yeah. Um, I think we lost, but <laughs> this is as balanced as we can get at this point. I know this is just a comic, but this is sort of what I imagine their life is really like. Like I sit there and imagine it every day, every day. You're all done, hand it over. I said fair and balanced, but you're clearly favoring one topic over the others. I should have known better than to ask an outsider. Oops. Oops. I think, uh, I think we'll retry. We should have plenty of time. Okay. <clears throat> so check it, pinstripes. Okay, this is repeated before. Oh, um, uh, I think, I think I made some, the, the things I made were, uh, somewhat more arty than a typical zine, like, um, like, did you, did you print copies of something and distribute it? Yeah, like, 100%, for for sale? also, okay. like, um, hand-printed covers uh what kind of like um lino cut mm, okay where you like you have a block of this it's linoleum linoleum yeah yeah which is honestly not that different from like a linoleum floor like it's it's thick so you can like cut into it with a a, a cutting tool and then the, the parts you don't cut out are the parts that will print so then you roll some ink on it and then stamp it down and you made a print and that's how we made some art zines, I guess. Cool. I was always aware of zines as a concept, but I never had the, I guess, gumption to make one myself. Like, I drew lots of little comics and things, mm -hmm. like notebook comics, but I don't think I ever made copies to distribute. Right. Get ready. 
Okay. I'm starting to wonder... Like, do these do these count as all three things equally? Like, now that we've done it once, right. I'm, I'm questioning our original assumption. I think we're going to start with the same cover. Sure. Um, and I guess we're probably going to get the same panels every time, so hopefully that will help us balance it out better? Maybe. Um, I'm going to do this again. I feel like our mistake on this page was not choosing the, the comic. Yeah, and a comic that was definitely a mistake. Yeah. Lowell, I'm going to send this one to everyone I know and some people I don't. If you type random numbers into your phone, they have to go somewhere, right? Uh, so and then we'll do a K-pop panel. So this page is balanced. Why don't more boys wear eyeliner? Everyone can benefit from having the mysterious allure of a perfect wingtip. And then we have two K-pop panels. This is tough, man. Let's do this I panel this yeah. time. T Tiny Day One. Sorry, I, I just got an all over puberty sweat. I almost wonder if this counts as like an indie comic. And like the distinct need to buy cutified products. Oh, like think it's so? not sequential storytelling art, but it is kind of comics like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, are these both? Oh, man. I feel like... I'm trying to remember what comes later. <laughs> like, we, we got kind of heavy on the K-pop at the end. This is the last inside page. Yeah. And then the final page is like the back cover, which is going to be a full page thing. No, there, there was inside back cover is next, mm. and then back cover. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like it might be best if we choose two political ones, mm. but that also seems risky. Right. I just... It seemed like we ended with a lot of K-pop. Right. Stay golden, Lois. Oh, right. I, I, I forgot we have options here. Right. Okay. So we do comics again. So first page was balanced, right? As far as we know. Cover was balanced. So now we've got political and comic. I, okay, you were right. I okay. I was wrong. <laughs> so You're thinking too much like a real zine maker. <laughs> so now if we do K-pop, I think we're good? Or wait. That's K-pop and indie comics. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> this is hard. to the editor for approval. <laughs> World's daddest mug. Dad. Mm. Huh? Yeah, uh, sure. Whatever. Alright, thanks, Dad. Looks like we're all set to scan and send to the printers. Win! Each page is balanced and checked and earned my respect. Copyright. You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Did we learn how Mona the Snipper is related? I feel like not related. Yeah. So this is probably one of the completely separate circles. I would think. I mean. Oh, we got Dad's badge also. So it's going to be two connected. Right. I mean, it could be. She could be a cousin, just didn't mention it. Hmm, that's a pretty rad tagline. 
if I had a public access channel talk show, which is 100% in the cards, by the way, if I keep up B plus's second term, <laughs> that would definitely be my sassy catchphrase. Anyways, the event is a gross allocation of funds, if you want my opinion. And did you know helium is a finite resource? Seriously, I'll Google it. Every balloon at that shindig is basically a big heck off to the folks that really need it. Like scientists and clowns that are down on their luck but have hopeful hearts. I'll see you there tonight, comrade. Bring your favorite safety pin covered jean vest for righteous popping. Like, I feel like figuring out how everyone is related to Pat is part of the little like puzzle of the family tree. Oh, for sure. Uh, I kind of want to go in this antique shop. I yeah, think. it's inviting. Let's poke at this, this person in the car though All first. Right. Sleepy pants. Zzz. Zzz. Mm. Zzz. Man, I'm so totally asleep right now. Zzz. Love being asleep. That's me every morning. Zzz. Zzz. All right, I don't think Sleepy Pants is getting up. Let's go in the antique shop. I should have checked the time first. We're probably fine. We had a lot of time. Whoa. This is uh, quite a place. 145. Okay. Upstairs doesn't look safe. It also doesn't entirely look connected, mm -hmm. but I suppose there's probably somewhere to get up there. Let's check the TV. Oh, creepy. Hey, remember how you interacted with the TV every single day in Phantasmagoria and it ended up not doing anything really? Yeah, something last night reminded me of that and then I was thinking about it just now. <laughs> and it's also funny that the TV in this game is creepier than the TV in that game was. Mm -hmm. oh. Examine. Puzzle piece. Who? I see two old lady gators that I want to talk to, but I don't know which one uh, should be talked to first. Um, the one in the corner in the curtains there is kind of beckoning to you. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking about the puzzle. Some Did somebody say something to us about the puzzle? I have no idea. I swear someone had dialogue about the puzzle. It was before we met Pat's mom. I, I can't remember who it was. Like I don't remember who it was. What I vaguely remember was just like the general like, hey, you should poke around and look at the Oh, there's pieces. stairs back there. Yeah, it's just at some point the actual assembly of the puzzle came up. Oh really? I think so. Hmm. We have seven pieces now. The phone talked about puzzle pieces. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this one. Would you like to voice the Black Widow? You're late. I've been waiting here for an hour. It's a very good voice. Thank you. What do you mean you do not work here? Well, it's not as if you can fault me for thinking so, what with the drab wardrobe and pathetic sunken eyes. <laughs> this, this Ouija board is great. <laughs> Especially it says peace out at the bottom. Everything here has the clear stink of death upon it. Oh, except for me, of course. I'm merely a poor, poor woman in deep mourning. Not at all one involved in the mysterious circumstances the police cannot explain. Hmm? I am merely a lonely widow left behind for the great beyond by my beloved late husband, Horace. I'm gonna, real quick, um, oh, what did I just move? I don't know. Oh, I moved the, the hidden uh, website <laughs> capture. Oh. It's going to move me back down to the corner. I feel like there's been less in the bottom right corner than there has. <laughs> so mm. Of course, now that I've moved myself again, this will probably change. Right. But it's fine. Oh, Horace, always such a wonderful wisp of a man. Even at his most poisoned, he forever remained regal, kind, and absurdly wealthy. Now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. If only I could hear his sweet, strained voice once more. Pat? 
You mean the one with the ridiculous hat? That's the one. Yes, I am aware of him. A terrible stain on the bloodline, that Papuli fellow. Jeez. Created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for myself and my dear children. Once removed at the very least, although it's of little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over a coffee table at the holidays. He thought he saw the spider's man or whatever <laughs> nonsense. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. If only my poor dear husband had been less poisoned, I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Will no one think of me and my feelings? Your questions grow tiresome. Don't you see you're riling up the vapors? What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely demise? I am not, ma'am. How dare you? I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I am visited by Horace's specter reaching out to me. Perhaps trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit on top of the rest of his vast estate. Will nothing stop his ceaseless haunting? If you could only find it in your heart to help this poor widow, I could give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horus and please find out what my dear late husband wants. Or what kind of evidence he has. The bargain of earthly defrights. Become a dark patron of this terrifying matron. I'll play. Follow the ghost through the eye of the planchette. He could get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. Interesting. I'm nervous about this one. Magical insight into the dearly departed? I have my suspicions. Prove to me that you can contact my beloved late husband or I shall out you as a charlatan to the entire mean ladies bridge club. Oh no. Oh, I see we got a suspicion meter on the right here. Round one. The suspicion meter went way down once we yeah. found him? I think, like, moving it around too much without the ghost causes it to go up, but once you have the ghost, right. she becomes more trusting. It's that way. He was there for a second. Yeah, he was. He kind of went off to the bottom right. There he is. Oh. Oh. Jeez. He's gotten speedier. Yeah. Oh no. Huh. It's B. 
being sneaky. Yeah. We were warned. I don't know if this is because I'm doing something wrong or if I just have to keep finding him until... I would think you just have to keep finding him? Oh. Oh, okay. okay. You did it. Good job. <laughs> For a second I was like, oh shoot, did I like run out of time or yeah, something? Yeah, that, that was unclear. <laughs> I was expecting a little like eye thing to happen. You got a family member badge. Oh geez. <laughs> Aww. It is almost too much to be believed. Indeed, my very foundations are ruffled. He loves me. My Horus said he loves me even in his afterlife. Aww. What a prince among ghosts. What a special specter my Horus is. And so gullible. Thank you, dearie. You've given an old widow a reason to smile again. And also an airtight alibi. <laughs> Oh, I must go tell the children at once, and also hide some sensitive items in the toilet, perhaps. <laughs> I simply don't have any more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. Well, best of luck to you, ma'am. Oh, phone call. Hello, hello, your pal the city aficionado here. Just want to make sure you know about this cool local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. That's We're where we are. We're literally there. I know what you're thinking. Antiques are for grandmas. And you're right. The whole shop is run by a grandma. Well, a nana. Nana Maru. There's a great local legend about the place that it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. That's a whole lot of ghosts. Oh, that's a cute little ghost sticker. What's really haunting though is the prices, Raffle. Ha. Just a little shopping humor from me to you. I'm not really rolling on the floor. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, Nanaru is as much of a card shark as she is a deal shark, so be careful. If you have time, defo check out her colorful shop. It's tons of fun. I will continue doing so. Uh, I think I'm going to take another quick break now. Okay. And we'll just uh, enjoy the lovely view here while I have some more water and maybe a little snack.
Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it's I funny can... that we got a tip about checking out the place that we were currently already in. Yeah. Let's touch this lamp. Oh. It's uh, haunted. <laughs> The pho our phone friend did say it was very haunted, this building. Yeah. Oop. That was a piece. I also, I recall that, um, I already forgot Pat's mom's name. Maria? Lovely Maria? Yeah. Uh, said that Nana was watching the baby, and I'm curious if that's Nana Roo. Mm. Or if that's just a strange coincidence. Got another puzzle piece in the cash register. Alright, let's talk to Nana Roo. Would you like to also be Nana Roo, or should I be Nana Roo? Uh, let me dig deep and find a second old lady voice. <laughs> and kind of assess the vibe here. <laughs> Welcome to Nana Roos, where if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just cause of the booze. This is maybe the same old lady. It's hot as all get out in here, sweetheart, so mind the ectoplasm. I'm trying to do like a New York accent, but I've also, <laughs> like, my New York accent is 100% based on Friends, and the many characters that talk like this in Friends that I've seen, so that's probably why they all come out the same. So, you interested in buying some antiques for me today, dollface? We just got in a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates never meant to be eaten on. <laughs> as well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. I can get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. Is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir, I see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Hmm? Well, sugar pie, as the sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Roo herself. Purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. Gah! Go on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers. <laughs> Pat? My sweet, sweet Patrick, he's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shops, wheeling about ghosts trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. <laughs> that boy might not be playing with a full deck. You, hey you, be careful with that vase, it's expensive. The event? Aw, so Pat's inviting his little friend to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get over there on time tonight. Gotta strain all the ghosts out of my wig before the shindig, you know. Those things tend to hitch a ride. Yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be with you in a minute. Sorry, pumpkin. Looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless you defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you can out the, out old the old maid? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll try. Old maid, keep up with the maid without getting played. I'll play. On your turn, select one of Nana Roo's cards and press A to put it in your hand. Then she'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. The player left holding the old maid loses. House rules, the younger player goes first. I have a feeling you'll have a good pick this time. So... Hmm. I mean, this is kind of random, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Oh, got a pair of sixes. Nice. That's some luck you got there. My pick, you say? Well, well, well. That's a pair for me. Mm. Nervous? You still have to pick a card. Nice. I'll 
get you next time, youth. My pick, you say? Well, well, well. I knew today would be a lucky day. I've got customers, sweetie. Take a card. <sighs> You're not pulling the wool over my eyes, are you? I like the look of this card. Hmm. <clears throat> Another pair for me. So I won? Well, how about that? You won. Guess so. That's pretty easy. Well, my stars and garters, you really beat me fair and square. You've got a family member badge. Oh, geez. You know, if you see my older sister Constance around, you should try to coerce her into play around, playing around with a doll like you. I think she'd get a real kick out of it. Just don't stare at her cards. She gets a little feisty about that. So about the events. Make sure you get there at 8 sharp. If you get to Dawdlin, you might miss the big surprise. It's should sure neck knock Pat's socks off. Wait, does he wear socks? <laughs> Is he one of those shoe-wearing alligators or the non-shoe alligators? Oh, jeez. Well, something will get knocked off the boy. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, the events at 8. <clears throat> Text from unknown. Buno... Buno Giorno? I guess. <laughs> City pal here. Do you know that's how they say hello in Italy? I kind of figured. <laughs> At least that's what it said on the back of my crisp <laughs> Ricey's box today. See, there's a lot of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator New York City. That's why they call it a melting pot. Not because of the strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather as I originally thought. If you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. You never know who you might struck up, up a conversation with there. Oh. I can talk to people on the trolley? This seems to be suggesting as much. I feel like I didn't have an opportunity to interact the first time I was on it. Hmm. Or who might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away? Gross. That's the big city for you, full of surprises. Okay. Oh. Perhaps. Okay. 2.45. Still got some time. This is hard. Oh, there we go. Diamond Alice. Hey, hey, look at me. Do you want to hear my poem? It's called Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing. Here it is. Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing, what are you? Then it said, I'm a shiny, tiny, miny little thing. Did you like it? I wrote it um, in my head because I can't write on papers yet. Except for my name and except for butt. But Papa didn't like it when I tried. Didn't like when I read it on Grandma. Hmm? I'm Alice and I'm four years old. I'm going to eat the whole world and when I get older, I'm going to be an ice cream truck king. Do you want to smell what's in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I do. Pat? Pat! Pat, Pat, Pat or Pat. Pat is my cousin. I brought him gummy worms and he eated it. But then, I showed him it was real worms and he found it, I found under the bird bath in the backyard. Pat doesn't come to babysit me anymore. The event? It's secret. I'm not opposed to tell and nobody about it. Papa said if I did, Grandma would be real mad. Even more mad than when I read it butt on her butt. <laughs> Can you help me with my snack? Maybe if you did, then it'd be okay. I want to eat all the pancakes, but only if they're on my special plate. I don't like to eat pancakes that's not on my special plate because it doesn't taste as pancakey. You know how it is. Don't put the smaller ones under the bigger ones either. I don't like that. So will you stack me the pancakes? <laughs> Flowers of Hanoi. <laughs> I was just thinking of this. It sounds like a Towers of Hanoi uh, uh, 
type of game. Do you have what it takes to stack up Pancake? I don't think I have ever played Towers of Hemlight. I don't know what its deal is. I have. Um, there was, shoot. Uh, there was a Zork game. Beyond Zork, maybe? It was one that had graphics in it. Um, and I remember that playing that one a whole lot. I got pretty good at it, so I think I'll do okay. I stack the pancakes on Alice's special plate. You can only stack a pancake on an empty plate or on top of a larger pancake. Watch out, each time you move a pancake, Alice gets hungrier. Okay, that's an additional complication I'm not used to. The plate with the A on it, that's my special plate. If I'm gonna eat all those pancakes, I want them stacked perfectly on my special plate. Stack them carefully, a big one can't go on a little one. You ready? Round one. Okay. Of course, I haven't played uh, this in a long time, so it might take me a minute to uh, remember how it all works. Can all I move right. that back? Okay. not getting too hungry. I feel like you got a lot of wiggle room. Oh, I see there's a meter on the right. Yeah. I wasn't sure what the indicator was. Oh, okay. I think you got it. Wait, what's that sound? Oh my gosh, the train is in the station. Mmm, <laughs> that was a good first course. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, they're even tinier now. I thought that seemed a little too easy. Oh what? no! What? Oh no! This is rude. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Delicious. Wait, does the train sound kind of funny though? Hmm. What is this overcooked nonsense? <laughs> This is a little bit much.
I see. So it, it, it basically a limited number of moves mm -hmm. I have to do it in. I think right. I got it. <laughs> I hope this is the last one. <laughs> I feel like round three has been the, right. the most rounds we've had in any of these games. Oog. Yeah, she seems full. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I ate a lot of pancakes. I feel real, real stomach achy, but accomplished. You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Maybe I'm gonna lay here a while. There's gonna be a cake at the thingy tonight and I wanna eat it, so I gotta regain my cake stamina. Thanks for help. I'm gonna go sleep beep now. Okay. We got more people to talk to, but I want to kind of go in this other room. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's crit. Excuse me, stranger. Can I trouble you for just a moment? You see, I need to seal the deal on a big sale. I'm talking huge! A ten-foot-tall coat rack for exceptionally affluent and tall alligators! Can you keep an eye on my granddaughter napping and let me know if she's getting fussy? Angel Face is a very good girl, so I don't anticipate you having any weird problems or strange happenings at all. None! Just keep your peepers on this monitor and play her a little music if she starts to wake up, but throw on her nightlight. Yada yada, you get it. Okay. Watch a totally normal baby. Just doing a babysit. Nothing weird about it. Completely normal baby. <laughs> Don't let ghosts possess this cute baby. Target ghosts with up and down. When you're ready, press A to attack. Fast ghosts are afraid of the brightest light. Okay. Oh, there's like different colors of ghosts. Huh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. That baby got a ghost <clears> in her. <throat> some trouble here. It took me a minute to kind of understand the interface. Mm -hmm. Like there's this hand pointer mm -hmm. on the bottom, but I'm not I'm not directly controlling that. I'm just pressing up and down to oh, select things. I see. When I when I saw the hand pointer, I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm controlling this." But no. so is it just kind of like randomly swapping between? No. It, well, as you go up and down, different different options get selected down yeah, there. That's a lot of ghosts. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy. <clears throat> this isn't looking good. Possess a baby. I'm back. Hmm. I'm gonna need an old priest, a young priest, and a sort of middle-aged priest having a midlife crisis. You know anybody? Hold on, I'll get the yellow pages. 
<laughs> It'll be fine. Pat! Hey, it's me again. Pat! One. It's almost four and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes? And the wearing of them therein? A couple of things. Perfect! Could you come meet me at my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters or college-age canvassers in cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside 4th Street. Hmm. I pressed OK. I'm on my way. I guess you didn't press it hard enough. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh. If I could have done anything there, I missed the opportunity. Nervous Dairy. Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Garçon, fetch us your finest novelty wine based on a popular sci-fi television show. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. Why, just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation, Darylus, Great Wizard of the North. My brother Mickey helped me put it together, though he did get a little bit slimy. <laughs> I'm Derry, known as the Terror of the East Side and Most Magics, the Happening Card Game Circles. On campus, I'm known as the Terror of the AP Biolab, or the one with that haircut. You found a puzzle piece. Oh, geez. Pat. Pat is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. The first being my internet friend Carl, whose dad got rich on Bitcoin mining. <laughs> That's a bard, so, you know, pretty party useless. Great singing voice, though. He could really wail on that juice harp. <laughs> the event? Yeah, it's a party. What, am I not supposed to say that? You got a family member badge. Oh, geez. Huh? You're leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. Perhaps we will meet again in another realm or on an internet forum for role-playing. What you doing, bub? Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. He also asked me to warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. <laughs> but not to say that second part out loud. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me. I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. Thanks, bub. If you'd be so kind as to follow me along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. Please don't left and right in the hallways, okay? Don't. Okay. <laughs> I do want to left and right. Don't want to go in there. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we've had a biohazardous incident. Again. Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Paz is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day! Hi, Pat! Welcome back. I was just trying on some pe... Nothing. I wasn't doing anything, actually. S so, have you talked to more of my family? Found out any secret plans? You think they're throwing me uh No, no, you're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one on, over on old Pat on his birthday, that's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes, like once a year. No way, they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we can really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. You see, I'm having a problem. A shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them, but I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have better luck hot-footing out of the event to safety if I need to. The issue isn't my... 
Sorry, I'm distracted by this, um... Two Wolf Moon <laughs> shirt. You seem to have two different um, shirts that have. Oh yeah. At least <clears throat> two wolves. The issue isn't my usual shoeless, pantsless nature, but the drawers where I actually keep all my things. Last week, my Nanaru gifted me an antique armoire from her shop as an early birthday present. It's big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted that it's leaving a weird stain on the parquet flooring just by existing. Haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? Soul searching. Peruse for shoes. Open these suspicious drawers and find a pair of shoes for Pat. Be careful, if Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. After each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. Spooky! It is spooky. Rat wolf shirt. Help me find my shoes, please. Oh, heck, that's a lot of drawers. We have an anxiety meter at the top. Good, good. We sure have some fancy shoes on, huh? Round one. <laughs> okay, that's bad. We don't like that. Uh... Game Boy. A dead Game Boy. Shoo! A shoe! Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. Okay, we're doing all right here. That's a shoe. Okay. I see. We need a pair of shoes. Which we... Do. Oh, that's just bugs? Ah! I think we have a pair? Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Do you need to find all of his shoes? Yikes. My my best guess is we need a matching pair of shoes, which I hmm. thought we had. Yeah, but I thought you had two brown shoes now. I guess the other thing is... Okay. Oh, right. It did tell us the drawers would shuffle. Mm -hmm. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Anxiety is not doing great. Okay, that definitely matches another shoe we found. Hmm. Okay, so we... Hmm. Okay. Was that here? Oh, is it like a memory game? I don't know. I'm trying to understand it. Cause sometimes when we go back to a drawer we previously opened, it's got uh -huh. it's got that uh, cursed doll in it. Hmm. That's not good. Maybe we just need to find all the shoes. Wait, haven't I tried all the drawers now? I don't know. I'm so confused. Would checking the um, instructions again help? I don't know. Oh, so there's that one again. Aha! Okay. I am going to look at the instructions again. Okay, after each round, the okay, contents okay, will okay. shuffle around. So it is, around. it is like a memory game. But I'm confused why sometimes if I go back to a drawer I've opened, it does not have the shoes that were in there. Yeah, I don't know. Is that 
this year again. More bugs. That's a lot of bugs. Okay. So, bottom row, second from the left. That's where the red sheet is. I think that's all of them. My shoes! Can't believe it, you found all three pairs of shoes that I own. Every shoe kind is represented here, brown, sneaky, and tropical. You know, looking at them now is kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bear flipper like I usually do. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just so nervous, I'm not thinking straight. I'm sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. Found a puzzle piece. Oh, jeez. I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm getting all mushy. You just get back out there and dig up more dirt, and I'll text you just before the event. See you later, investigator. Side. Oh, and John Johnny's. Would you like to hear today's specials? Sure. Can you tell me? May I seat you by the open window? I'm told it's a cozy table with a full-bodied aroma of car exhaust runoff and ancient pee. Mm. Gross. It just so happens our drink of the day is also called ancient pee. <laughs> it's a ginger lemonade made with a hint of turmeric. Yes, I named the daily specials. Why do you ask? <laughs> Welcome! Okay, let me run out there. Oh, it's Charlene again. Oh boy, company, give me a moment. It's going to take some time to rouse my polite small talk face. We'll leave you alone this time, Charlene. Uh, let's go outside. I want to talk to Mom and put our family ah, tree yes. pieces in place. Oh my, you're back already. Hello again, dear. Did you manage to take any family photos? I got a whole bunch. So, we've got... Um, that's Mona's dad, and that's Mona. Oh. So I was thinking they might go over here, but that's already uh, partially taken up, so they must be connected to some other people. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got... Nanaru, who is right there. Perfect. Nanaru, age 77, occupation, purveyor of fine antiquities. Uh, and then we've got Cousin, not okay. a sister. 
I guess I... Because she talked about Pat not coming to babysit anymore. You wouldn't talk yeah. about your brother babysitting you. Right, okay. So she's got to be in one of those other child bubbles. Yeah, I guess I just, I made an assumption and the, never questioned it. <laughs> the, baby, the baby is Pat's right. sister, yes. but we did not get the baby's picture. I just the baby became too haunted. You know, Nanaru was watching after a kid. Right, but Grand... So I was like, oh, that must be Pat's sister. And then we met the baby, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, so this, that's... We've met all Pat's siblings now, <laughs> but clearly I was right. Wrong. Grandmas can have grandchildren that are not siblings. Sure. Okay, she's over there. Diamond Alice, age four fingers. Occupation, literal child. Uh, so, yes, my, my hunch is Mona and dad are going to be over here. Perhaps. Just a, just a hunch. Let's try this. Nope. Snipper, age 13, occupation, Vuvuzela honker at local town halls. So then dad's gonna be here. Dad, age 49, occupation, reading the newspaper, being somewhat aloof. Good work if you can get it. Uh, so this, I can't remember this person's name, but I know they're related to Mickey. Nervous Dairy, age 26, occupation, conspiracy theory, YouTuber. Oh boy. Bad work if you can get it. <laughs> uh, and then we've got, um, I guess we never got a name for the Black Widow. I guess that's I would try her, her. I would try her in the circle to the left of Nana Roo. Or sorry, I mean the right, like as a sister. I feel like that. Hmm, okay. But then... We've got her husband. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. She's gonna go somewhere. Okay. Let's try. Sometimes I try both of these. I have no idea. She mentioned having children. So I feel like yeah. she's got to be one of the bubbles that has other bubbles, and she's old, so she's got to be... She's got to be up here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Black Widow, age 55. Occupation, are you wearing a wire? I guess she's not as old as I thought. And then Horace goes here. The White Widower, age dead. Occupation, deading. It was Horace, right? Remembering that right? I believe so. Okay. Doing pretty good. Oh, I guess it's about time to wrap up. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. I was trying to figure out how many, uh, how many streams uh, this game would take looked up how long to beat and it said two and a half hours uh which i optimistically thought might mean i could get through it in one day i feel like the, the way you play a game like this is right you, you want to poke and look in every little nook and cranny so i i felt like two and a half hours was nowhere near what you were gonna end up sure with. sure but then it gave a completion time of i want to say four hours mm -hmm. so i was like okay so maybe three three and a half hours but like obviously we're taking time to talk occasionally and breaks and stuff so 
it was unrealistic, I'm sure. But we'll probably get through the rest of it next week. So I'm mousing around here for any goodies. Are you planning to... Oh, we can go in Brodega. Or... Oh! Um, it's a puzzle piece. I, I have a every other week pre-existing... Pre uh, um, what is the word yes. I'm looking for? I have an appointment every other week. We'll put it you that do. way. You uh, do. Are you going to play without me on those weeks? Yeah, okay. I think I will. I couldn't. Um, that's an, like I feel this is probably something that we're not supposed to talk about on stream. But I couldn't remember if you told me your plans about that. Sure. Um, yeah. So uh, next week it'll be uh, just me. I'll have to do all the voices myself. I don't know. Um, I suppose you might be here a little bit at the beginning. Yeah, I could probably do we'll a little see. bit at the beginning. Trying to see who we can raid here. I'm gonna give myself a little shout out. Yes, please do. Um, so... Holly will be playing Persona on Monday at 8 o'clock. Yeah, around 8. That's when I've been doing it, I think. And I'm always hanging out on her streams. And then on Tuesday, it's time to store, store, store Phantasmagoria 2, uh, which I am uh, both excited and uh, a little scared about. Uh, looks like it's, uh, I don't know. Slightly less campy than the first game, I guess. And definitely, um, I don't know, it just seems like it's maybe gonna dial up the, um, murdering gore? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. My, my hope is that since it is, um, framed and lit somewhat like an X-Files episode, mm -hmm. it might be a little bit... Um, like, I, I don't expect it to be significantly less gory, but maybe less brightly lit gory. Right. It definitely has uh, more um, typical... Are you coming in here? Sure. If all I right. can make all these wires work in my favor. More typical, like, TV production values. Hello. It's me. <laughs> I'm here, too. Oh. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's got a, a very different vibe uh and it's a little more uh like full-on fmv like if you click to walk somewhere like it switches to a different like fully uh video captured shot of the character walking to the I other room i also noticed when you were testing it out that like as you move the cursor around mm -hmm. he like sort of like like oh they I didn't notice kind that. Kind of like a stop motion stop, but like they've they've captured him right. standing and looking in slightly different ways that are supposed to like follow the mouse in a way that is kind of interesting. Right. It's a little bit creepy also. Yeah. Yeah, the way the, the character um, is is plopped onto the background is I don't know. It's I mean it's not that different from what they did in the first game, but something about like like, they didn't want the character to ever be completely still, so, like, he's, I don't know, he's, he's kind of twitching a lot. <laughs> well, what, what, I think what you're talking about is what I, like, it looks yeah, like twitching, yeah. but he's supposed to be following the mouse cursor around. Right. It's just kind of doing it in this really herky-jerky yeah. fashion that ends up looking kind of Jacob's Ladder in a way it's hard to tell if it was intentional. Right. It's certainly a little creepy, which... It's the game, I guess. So there you go. Anyways, uh, so that'll be beginning of next week. Yep. And um, oh, who should I read? I don't know. Who's on? Uh, Adrian's playing Agenda BF Beta. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Um. I don't know. We'll just, um... Visit some critters? Yeah, let's visit some ducks this time. We'll just do that. Oh. 
So I got my pat website open, <laughs> alligator.fun. Okay. Let's read the old dash ducks. Enjoy some ducks for the afternoon. Evening? I guess it's evening now. It's evening for us. Oof. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. And, uh... Hope you see hope to see you again next time. Next week we'll wrap this up and uh, have a great afternoon, evening, whatever time you happen to be in. <laughs> have a good day, y'all. Bye.